Hello friends, and today I'd like to show you how you can use an egg sheet instead of, or as well as, the timeline in Tahoma 2D. And I'm looking at this thanks to a question on last week's video from Claude. And if you've got a question you'd like help with, just drop it in the comments below or ask over on my Discord server. And there's a link in the description. So in Tahoma 2D, in each of the rooms, there's the timeline for you to set out the timing of your drawings and animation keys. But if you've come to Tahoma from open tunes or a traditional animation background, a vertical X sheet might feel more natural to you instead of the horizontal timeline. And there's two ways to get an X sheet. First, you can just show the X sheet panel by selecting it from the panels menu, just here, and then dock it somewhere and remove your timeline. And you shouldn't really have both on screen at once because they try to stay synchronized with each other and they'll show different numbers of frames. But adding a new egg sheet is great if you only want the egg sheet instead of the timeline. But an alternative is that you can flip between the timeline and egg sheet on the panel that you already have docked. So instead of opening a new panel, you can just right click on a column header any of them will work, and choose Toggle Orientation. And now you've got the vertical X sheet showing more columns, which is really useful when working on backgrounds as I am here. And while you're working on backgrounds, or different parts of a character that's created in different columns, you only really need to see one frame at once. So it's often better to work with the vertical X sheet view, so that you can see more columns, but in less space. And to change back to the timeline view, you simply right click on any column header again and choose Toggle Orientation. And now we can see more frames, but fewer columns. And you can create a different room to host your vertical X sheet by unlocking the rooms with this padlock at the right and then right click on any of the room buttons and choose New Room. Set up the panels that you need or you can change dynamically as you need to switch between the timeline and the X sheet by right clicking on the column header and choosing toggle orientation. So there you go, you've got a choice of the default horizontal timeline or a vertical X sheet. The timeline shows more frames but fewer columns and the X sheet shows more columns but fewer frames. So use whichever works for you and don't be afraid to flip between the two as you work. So once again Thanks to Claude for suggesting today's topic. And if you've got any ideas for areas of open tunes or to Homer that you'd like me to discuss in more detail, then drop me a message or join me on my Discord for a chat. And if you're new here, subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I release my next video. I make weekly tutorials, tips, and animations with open tunes and to Homer 2D. And I also host weekly live streams where I'll work on animations and answer your questions live. So I'd love you to join me for those. And that's a guarantee.